Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am painting rocks. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her So the first rock that I am painting is this one and I decided to make it an M&M because they're good and it kind of looked like a bit of m and m use your imagination i don't even know i just saw that on the internet so i decided to do it so i'm painting the rock all red and for the parts that looked like bite marks i'm painting the inside brown because it is chocolate now i'm just painting the other side if you are gonna do this you want to be patient and like not do it all at once or else it will smudge and it will not look good. Now to paint all the details, I am using some white and brown paint. You can also use black, but I decided to use brown because it's chocolate. Luckily, all the features on the M&M design is like super simple and easy to do, so nothing very special. The next rock art design is a hot dog, and I saw this on the internet, so it is not my original idea. Um, it might have been a little different, but this is just what I'm doing. I mixed some brown, white, and orange to make the bread color. Once it is dried, I am taking some red paint. And I'm actually going to paint the hot dog now. Now to add detail, I'm just taking some yellow paint and putting some fake mustard on to make it look more like a hot dog, I guess. The third design that I am doing is a R2-D2 almost. It's kind of a weird shape, this rock, but... I saw it on the internet and I had to do it. So first I painted the base color, which is white, and you have to let it dry. Then I'm mixing some black paint and some white paint together to make a gray color. And I'm gonna take that paint and only put it on the top half. And to do the details, I'm taking a little bit of blue paint and a toothpick. Now I'm taking some black paint to do the rest of the details. Now I'm taking a little bit of red paint to do the 
one well one of the last details which is a dot basically Now I'm taking this like almost triangular rock and I am making a watermelon. I am taking some blue and yellow paint and mixing it together to do the core. I don't know what it's called. Um, just the stuff, the green stuff that you don't need. I totally forgot to film this, but I um, painted the red part, like the part that you actually eat, and it took a long time to dry, but here I am doing the seeds, and I used white because I thought it looked nicer. <laughs> this is actually the last one, and I took this almost like, um, dome, like, semi-circle shaped rock and i am turning it into this like just something nice pastel kind of thing i don't even know what it's called because i don't think anyone has done this probably have but just i didn't see it on the internet and basically i'm taking pink blue purple and what was it mint green and i'm using that as the background and i'm taking some paint to draw a sun basically so it's super nice So I decided to use puffy paint for this because I don't think my yellow paint was thick enough to do this. And basically the first time I tried to draw the sun, I dropped it. So this is my second attempt right here that you're looking at. And here is all of them together. I think they turned out great for the first time um, that I'm doing this. Probably the last time because it did take a long time time to dry in total so yeah i think they turn out amazing though hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it and see you guys next week bye